This dish is something I started making over the summer. You know, when you want to avoid being in front of a hot stove as much as possible, but it's also so perfect during the winter because it's quick, hearty, and cherry tomatoes are one of like the few things that you could still get outside of summer and still be delicious. A warm bowl of pasta, it just always hits the spot. Plus the sauce comes together in one pot, so it's a one pot wonder. My favorite kind of recipe, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be yours too. First thing you wanna do, get a pot of water going. You wanna start to bring it up, not to a rolling boil yet, but get that going so that once we have our sauce ready, we can drop our pasta and don't have to be waiting for anyone. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of chopping. We've got a shallot, some garlic, and then we'll get our kind of herbs done too. So we're just gonna give this a quick, fine chop. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want small pieces because we want this to cook pretty quickly. 30 minutes, clock's ticking, I'm not going to be messing around with you. I like a lot of garlic. I don't know about you, I do think it's personal taste, but I'm using one shallot and six cloves of garlic. Let's say you really love things that are oniony, garlicky, fragrant. Bump it up a little. I'm not your mother. You can use as much or as little as you like. When I'm missing garlic, I just like to go give it a little thin slice, line everything up, and then we'll just run our knife through it a few times. Our shallots and garlic can cook together, so don't go crazy with tons of bowls on your counter. Throw them in together. So it might seem like we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but I'm gonna chop up some parsley. That's not gonna go in until the very end of this recipe, but it's the last thing we gotta chop. What I love about this is you just have to do a little bit of aromatics, some herbs to garnish, but that's all you need for your cutting board. That's it, that's all you gotta do. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit, kinda get everything together, and we're gonna start cooking the sauce. So this is two pints of cherry tomatoes. Meanwhile, in a Dutch oven pot, we're gonna heat up three tablespoons of olive oil. Let that come up. You're really gonna wanna look for a nice shimmer in the pan to know it's hot. And we're gonna add in one pound of lean ground beef. Cook it down into crumbles, and then we're gonna start adding from there. Lots of flavor until you have the best and quickest cherry tomato ragu you've ever made. We're gonna throw in our beef. You hear that? If you do not hear that sizzle, wasn't hot enough. You wanna be using a wooden spoon, start to break up the beef. We want nice, small crumbles. And we're gonna cook until you no longer see any pink. They're gonna to start to caramelize, get nice and gold, and it should only take about six to eight minutes. While this finishes cooking, I'm going to grab a bottle of white wine. We're gonna throw in our garlic and shallot chili flakes. Crushed red pepper. I'm using a half teaspoon. I like a good kick. If you really like a good kick, throw in some more. You are a little afraid of spice? Start with a quarter teaspoon. Really, choose your own adventure when it comes to heat. It's gonna cook down forever once it's covered, so don't worry about your shallots becoming super softened. What I am gonna do is deglaze the pan with a cup of white wine. What does deglaze mean, you might wonder? Um, what this means is we're kind of using some liquid to pull off all of those brown bits that are stuck at the bottom. You work so hard to build up flavor. We're searing the beef, we're adding the garlic, the shallots, the chili flakes. Now that we threw this in, time to add in our tomatoes. We're using these gorgeous cherry tomatoes that are gonna burst. That's like the best part of this. And last but not least, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. A little bit of acid, especially when we're dealing with tomatoes, is so important. You have all of the richness from the olive oil and the beef. The balsamic is just going to help balance that out, as well as it does add a little bit of sweetness too when it cooks down. We're gonna toss this up. And now we're gonna add in my favorite ingredients. My favorite ingredients ever, which are salt and pepper really want just something that's gonna help brighten this up. Now that it's nice and incorporated, seasoned, I'm going to throw on a lid, and we're gonna let the magic happen. 
Meanwhile, in the same time that your sauce is gonna take to cook, we're gonna be able to cook our pasta. How amazing is that? We've got a beautiful pot of water to a boil. I'm gonna add in my salt now. In terms of the type of pasta you can use, anything you like, really. I love a short pasta, something that's gonna pick up this sauce. This isn't a blended sauce, it's gonna be chunky. So really think of things like orecchiette, penne, rigatoni, which I love, rotini. Any of those options are wonderful. Just a pound of dried pasta. You got it in your pantry. Give it a little zhuzh, just to make sure nothing sticks. You got 10 minutes to drink the rest of your bottle of wine. And I'll see you back here and we're gonna finish up our pasta. Time to check everything and get it all together. Oh my God, like magic, all of our cherry tomatoes popped. Now here's the magic. It doesn't look much like a sauce until you go in with your wooden spoon and you start to stir it up. It starts to break down the tomatoes and really becomes nice and juicy. Gorgeous, and now we're just going to take our pasta and throw it right in. You could drain this in your sink with a colander, but I find it's super easy just to use a spider like this and throw it right in. Giving this a nice gentle stir, and now I'm going to throw in our herbs. We pre-chopped our parsley, but I do have some feelings about basil. You don't need to chop it. I'm a big believer in just tearing it off. We're gonna go for same amount that we used for our parsley, but I'm just going to give it a little tear and drop. And we're just gonna need to taste it for salt and pepper. And of course, make it rain parmesan. The reactions, they're always in real time. All right, we need some more salt and pepper, as I predicted. Would it even be a pasta party without a crazy raining of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano? Let's give it a taste. Speechless. I'm telling you, this pasta, it tastes like hours and hours of low and slow cooking, but really it comes together in 30 minutes. You get the beautiful sweetness from the tomatoes, the brightness from the balsamic, the beef ties it all together to make a one pot meal that I'm obsessed with. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.